Really good. I think we're all feeling healthy, energized, ready to go. What did you do over the bye week? I stayed here, um, hung out here, up and watched some film. You know, went to uh, went to a couple of volleyball games. Had some had fun. Are you? Over this next stretch, how important is it you protect yourself, make good decisions? I mean, you've seen a lot of quarterbacks in this league go out for the season with different injuries. Um, how important is it that you just play smart here over these final six weeks? Yeah, I think I think um, I think I did a pretty good job of that the first these first couple starts I've had. I don't think I change anything. Um, you know, I'm still going to be aggressive as a runner. Um, still want to when I can. Um, bring the team on, you know, when a quarterback is running um, hard, it, yeah, I think it really energizes the team more than, more than a lot of people understand. Um, so I want to keep, keep doing that, but at the same time, like you said, I want to protect myself, um, but not to the point where, you know, I, you know, I'm not getting first downs or something. You've been able to, as, as these last four or five weeks have gone on, Settle into a rhythm, like through the through the pace of. I mean, you had a Friday game, you had a bye week, but um, just as far as the way that you take care of yourself, um, that, that's that's maybe different than what it would be if you weren't expecting to be out there for sixty or seventy reps on a Saturday. Yeah, um, you know, that's something that I need to work on, and I think as I start more and more games and get more and more reps on Saturdays and Fridays, I'll figure out. You know, I can. I can push myself even more on Tuesdays than what I'm feeling like I should be able to. Um, and then, you know, I don't want to back off on Thursdays and Fridays. Like we still, like those are the days like we tune everything up so that we can execute on Saturdays. But you find a tempo, um, and you find the tempo for everyone else too. Because there's guys that are, I mean, the O-line are taking a lot more beatings than I am. Um, you know, they, they find their tempo and then we all just kind of settle in together. Is there anything about standing here on a Tuesday and having a really pretty concrete idea of what that, that you, what you're going to do on Saturday as far as the, the amount of playing time you're going to get versus not knowing like you like you experienced your first couple of starts? Um, I don't think so. And you know, if there is, if that starts to creep into my mind, I need to work on getting that out because I I want to keep preparing the same way I have been the last couple of weeks. Um, I want to prepare like, just like I have been the last two or three years. Like I want my shot, you know, I want my opportunity. Um, so if I get lackadaisical on a Tuesday because I feel like oh, I need to protect myself for Saturday, um, you know, I think I'm doing a really big disservice to my team. What's your trust level with some of the, the younger receivers who are being thrust into a, a more prominent role on this offense now? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of young guys that, um, you know, it's hard, especially when some of them haven't been here. Um, you know, a couple of them have been here since uh, the winter. But, when you know, when they show up in the summer and, you know, you don't get the summer to throw with them, um, it is kind of tough. But that's where, you know, I need to – we need to treat Tuesday like a game day because that way – when we get to game day, those guys, you know, they're starting to come along because they've been practicing hard, like it's Saturday all week. When it comes to the first drive of the game, how do you think that's gone, you know, executing those plays, staying on script with everything? Yeah, it's been, I mean, this this year's been kind of weird in that, you know, the first game, we started on the minus one yard line. You know, Illinois, we start on the minus one yard line. Um, so. Sometimes, you know, stuff like that does kind of throw you off script a little bit. But I think more than anything, it's not the plays. It's how we come out and execute whatever they call. Um, you know, obviously in an ideal world, we're going to go with the script that, you know, Coach Sat has come up with. Um, but we got to be able to, you know, we, you know, one of these times we may start on the plus one. You know, we got to punch it in on the first play. Um, so I think um, I think we just need to go out and execute on the first drive. Henrik, the coaches used the bye week for a little bit of a self scout and kind of evaluate where you guys are at. From an offensive approach of where you're at right now, how similar or different is it from what you would have predicted at the start of the year? Um, you know, I think I think we saw from spring into the fall that this offense is constantly evolving, um, just because we have so many dynamic players. Um, you know, we have 
we have had a couple injuries and guys that need, like we said, need to come along a little bit. Um, and so, you know, when guys like, you know, Marcus go down, um, you know, that kind of takes away some of the experience on the outside. So you have to kind of change a little bit. Um, but I don't think we're going to shift entirely as an offense. Um, it's just kind of maybe shifting the load um, a little bit. What have you learned, you know, through your, your first four starts? I think if, especially on this team, um, if you take care of the ball and do your job, um, good things will happen. You know, it's it's not always pretty. Um, I mean, we, we play in a tough conference. This is, you know, this is Big Ten. This is, you know, it's, it's kind of like the NFL. Like, you got to take care of the ball, execute, do your job, and uh, trust the guys on the other side of the ball and on special teams that they'll do their job too. And, um, you know, find a way to get a win. Coach Rule had said a couple of weeks, or you said a couple of weeks ago that becoming a starter and, and playing is a product of Coach Rule. You know, if you work hard, you'll get out there and play. And obviously you're seeing new guys get out there a little bit because of injuries. But do you see that same sort of, I guess, mentality or that same sort of theme when they get out there and play that might not have been out there before? Yeah, I think I think, um, I think our guy, guys are starting to realize in this program that you – you gain, you gain what you work for. Um, so, yeah, there may be some injuries and in guys, but I don't think guys are looking at injuries as opportunities. They're looking at, okay, it's my turn now. Um, you know, it, I wasn't put into this role because of an injury. I earned this um, because of the work that I put in. Um, and so I think as long as we continue to have that mindset, um, yeah, everyone will continue to grow and eventually we'll be, um, we'll be a really good team. How often do you hear from, I mean, you grew up in a couple different places, but you spent your high school years in Kearney. How often do you hear from people now uh, back back home in Kearney about your play and just what you're doing? Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's funny. I get texts from, you know, people that got my number from so-and-so or, you know. Um, you know, I try to respond to as many of those as I can um, just because I know how much it means to have someone from Kearney, someone to represent them. Um and so that's what I try to do. You know, every time I go out on the field, every time I'm here, every time I'm out in the community, um, I really try to represent them. Do you, do you hear from former coaches like Coach Harvey or even Coach oh, yeah. Purdue from a couple years ago? Yeah, I love, you know, talking to Coach Harvey. I try to call him once a week, and he sends me a message. Or, you know, just um, you know, there's other coaches too, but um, try to stay in contact with those guys because they're the ones who, you know, help me put me in this position. Speaking of volleyball, I, you, you took in a couple matches. I know you're laser focused on football, but how cool is it that the volleyball team's got number one, number two this weekend? And, and you know, I, I'm sure the football team is aware of that and aware of that team, and the volleyball team supports you guys a lot. How important is it that, that they have that kind of match after your football game? Yeah, I think um, you know, there's been there's been more excitement, especially you know the coaches have started. They all have you know some of them have daughters who are you know really love watching um, those girls and. Um, you know, we've, the football team, the volleyball team, you know, we've been close. We, we try to support each other as much as we can. Um, and so I think, you know, Saturday, you know, that big of a game after our game, um, I think it'd be huge if, you know, we both could get wins on that day. And, you know, obviously that's going to be a big game for them. So really, really hoping they pull it out. You're going to try to get over there for it. I will, yeah. All right. All right, thank you.